it's uh, it's my honor to be here today, of course, to bring greetings on behalf of the province of Ontario, the Ontario Legis Legislative Assembly, and our members, uh, who uh, certainly congratulate each and every one of you for your endeavors in accessibility and promoting accessibility and inclusiveness in our communities. I'm so proud to be here today to uh, celebrate those who will be receiving the awards, and I want to wish them all uh, uh, incredibly you, but uh, a sincere thank you for the work that you do on behalf of our community. Thank you so much. Press conference was to compel the Ontario government to make a commitment in setting the tone in the hiring of persons with disabilities and creating programs which will encourage businesses and companies to do the same. During the conference, Kevin was clear in identifying that there is an untapped market of individuals with disabilities who have skills, experience, and education. Kevin works closely with MPP Jaras Nadeshak to bring awareness to employment challenges for individuals with disabilities. Here's a little more about Kevin Richard. As an individual, that he um, meets all of his goals. So he's always setting goals for himself, but those goals are not selfish. They include other people because the steps that he makes and the um, successes that he has, he can share that and ensure that all individuals that have uh, a disability um, or an employment barrier, that in fact they're able to. Uh, meet their goals. So that's what his encouragement is. Always encouragement to uh, to other individuals, always thinking about other individuals and wanting only not only for himself but the community um, to be a better place. Now, can you just reset that and how the steps that you took to nominate Kevin for this event? So there were nomination forms and we were asked to consider who in fact we thought might be good candidates for awards and I selected Kevin because um, in providing him with assistance and service, he has always inspired me. Um, his willingness to move forward, his willingness to try new things. Um, and of all the individuals, I mean, we service a lot of individuals, uh, but I, I think with Kevin, his age, his skills, his abilities, and his motivations will really have an impact on our community. Can you tell me a little bit about your working relationship with him? As in, like, where you've come from, where you've been, and where you're at now? Okay. Well, Kevin um, applied to our agency for employment uh, supports. I managed that program. So when we first started with Kevin, he had been doing a lot of volunteer work and uh, was really striving for a job in journalism. And uh, that just wasn't happening for him, not because of his inabilities or his uh, lack of skills. It's just based on the labor market. So uh, in getting to know Kevin more and more and more, we had felt that he has a lot to offer in a lot of different areas. So that's when we assisted him to develop the business plan and start his own business. So we meet quite regularly. Um, Probably of all the consumers, I, I, you know, as a manager, I don't provide direct service, but of all the consumers, I spend a lot of time with Kevin because, again, I think his ideas, I think his willingness, um, it inspires me to want to continue to uh, ensure that I look at, I guess, the community from a younger person's perspective. So well, certainly uh, any opportunity that I get to hang out with uh, my friend Kevin McShann, I will take that opportunity and jump at that opportunity. He's uh, certainly an inspiration for anyone that uh, has had the pleasure to work with Kevin. Uh, but tonight is uh, special in that uh, a lot of Kevin's work goes into advocacy uh, for persons with uh, different abilities and, uh, and accessibility issues for those people. Uh, of course, Kevin is one uh, who faces challenges every day and who rises to those challenges like no one I've ever met. So in that sense, uh, Kevin certainly is an inspiration uh, to those uh, with uh, disabilities, but also just as a human being. I mean, he strives for the best he for himself, and, and uh, in turn, he challenges others to do the same. So, uh, you know, it's, it's just whenever you can be with those types of people and support them, uh, it certainly uh, makes uh, my work better, and, uh, and you're always learning too as well. Tell me a little bit about your working relationship and where you guys have come from and where you're at now type deal. Yeah, so I met Kevin uh, probably four years ago as a candidate. 
prior to being elected, and Kevin was working as a journalist uh, at that time, as is his profession, and uh, I was immediately impressed with Kevin uh, and knew that, you know, should I uh, g have the honour of, of being elected to office, this is somebody that I want to work with uh, because he's aware, he's in tune with what our community's needs are and, uh, and how to address them. So, you know, we started to dialogue uh, after I was elected in terms of, uh, what he was working on and uh, how I could help through the provincial level of government to bring those issues to light. Uh, Kevin and I have worked uh, almost on a daily basis. We're in contact with each other through the you know, technology of uh, Facebook. Uh, we get to chat about what he's working on, some of his projects, and also uh, how that fits into the, the, uh, the narrative of, of accessibility and uh, promotion of uh, persons with uh, different abilities in inclusion into our into society, into our communities, into our economies, and, and all facets. So uh, Kevin uh, Kevin's been that voice for our region, uh, continues to be that voice, and I'm happy to try to create those outlets with him, uh, whether they be legislatively or through just you know promotion uh, wherever we can find it. Events like this. Uh, you know, Facebook. Uh, we held a wonderful press conference uh, last year at Queen's Park that Kevin uh, championed. He was our lead on uh, accessibility issues and including uh, persons with dis disabilities in employment standards and trying to find a way to, to make that a better space for people who have disabilities. So, I mean, you know, he's constantly driving forward. And uh, if you get to grab onto that comet, then, you know, somehow, sometimes you get to share in the sparkle of it, I guess, is what it is. And that's what I'm doing. I'm following Kevin McShann's coattails is what I'm doing. Chris, tell me a little bit about Teraz and, and Karen and your working relationship with them and uh, where you've come from and where, you, where you're at now and some of the things that you've been through. Listen, I am forever indebted to uh, Therese Natashak and uh, Karen Ball, who have been uh, influential advocates on promoting um, the rights and equality for me and making sure that uh, opportunities and doors are being opened for me. So receiving this award is sort of a... Uh, vindication about uh, the work that we, we've all collectively done, so it'll be a, a group award for all of us that are here uh, the day that are being honored tonight, including myself. Teraz told me that he, you're a comet and he's just kind of riding on your coattails. Can you, uh, can you give me a little spiel on that? Well, uh, Teraz is uh, uh, so incredibly modest, but uh, his office and him in particular have uh, been a, a staunch supporter of the initiatives that I've started or, or trying to get off the ground. Uh, Teraz has always encouraged me to advocate on behalf of myself and, of course, uh, people with disabilities. Uh, here in Windsor and Essex are severely underemployed. The, the latest numbers are between 70 and 72 percent. So anything that I can do, and the reason I'm getting the award tonight is my influential advocacy on uh, getting people with disabilities employed. So uh, I feel very, very honored and fortunate to be uh, have been nominated by Karen to receive the honor. Good evening, everyone. My name is Karen Hall, and I manage the uh, vocational programs for assisted living. Part of my duties are to ensure the Equal Ability Program, which is an employment supports program. Uh, five years ago, we were tasked with assisting Kevin in developing his vocational aspirations. I developed this understanding of who Kevin was when he took on and assisted a family for a young man that had to leave uh, St. Clair College. And Kevin was instrumental in trying to help this young man move forward. Kevin doesn't stop there, he continues. And uh, I believe if I were speaking a year from now, that Kevin would already have accomplished some of the goals which he believes in. So again, I, I, I feel that he's so deserving of this award and uh, I feel confident in saying in five years from now, two years from now, there'll be something big that Kevin again is uh, going to be highlighted for. 
Hi everybody, I am Kevin McShann, motivational speaker and uh, sports talk radio host. I am humbled and honored to have been chosen to receive this award. Uh, advocating on behalf of people with uh, disabilities is something that I do a lot. I am a part of the Equal Ability Program here and also and part of my involvement with the organization has to do with advocating on behalf of not only myself, but those who need extra advocacy work uh, done on behalf of them. This award will only enhance my ability to advocate further on behalf of people with disabilities. I want to uh, personally thank uh, Karen Gold, the uh, manager of Vocational Services here at Assisted Living uh, Southwestern Ontario for nominating me for such uh, a prestigious honor because as Karen and I both know, advocating on behalf of individuals with disabilities and promoting equality is not only the right thing, it's the smart thing to do as well. And again, I am beyond thrilled to have uh, received such a great honor. Have a good night, everybody.